Hi, I'm Gary Nutskin. I'm a free credit lawyer with Consumer Credit Lawyers. I'm licensed in Michigan only. In this short video, I'm going to explain how your credit report can get damaged without you even knowing about it. The law's on your side, and so am I. Many people think, oh, my credit report's fine. I pay my bills and have excellent credit. I'm here to tell you, think again. Whether your credit is pristine or poor, no one's immune to the vagaries of the credit reporting agencies. Did you know that 80% of all credit reports here in the United States have incorrect information on them? Of that incorrect information, about half of it is negative enough to damage one's credit score. Do you still think it can't happen to you? Here are some of the ways that your credit report can get damaged without you even knowing about it. Identity theft. It's still one of the fastest growing crimes in America. With computers and the internet, it's so easy to steal people's identities. Enterprising thieves have started posing as taxpayers and stealing tax refunds from the IRS. An identity thief typically needs three and sometimes four pieces of information to steal your identity. These are your name, address, social security number, and your birth date. With this information, the identity thief can open accounts, take tax refunds, and purchase goods in your name. And they do it daily. Mismerge is where a credit reporting agency puts information on a person's credit report that does not belong to him, but rather to someone else. For instance, Experian may put credit information belonging to Ray Moran Sr. on Ray Moran Jr.'s credit report. If Sr. does not pay his bills, Jr.'s credit report will be damaged and his score will be needlessly depressed. He may be depressed too. Lenders make errors also. Sometimes a lender may report you as late when you are not. We've seen instances when lenders have reported debts as charged off even though the consumer was currently making payments to the lender and getting monthly invoices as well. Public records rarely contain enough personal information to make them identifiable to any particular individual. Judgments usually have the name of the judgment debtor and only his name, not his middle name, rarely his address, and certainly not his social security number. Consequently, when a credit reporting agency learns of a judgment against a Bill Green, for instance, it has no idea which Bill Green is the true defendant. Hence, credit reporting agencies sometimes place that judgment on the credit report of every Bill Green in town. What can you do about mix-ups and errors on your credit report? Pull your credit report at least once a year. Examine it to see if you're part of that 80% who has an error or a mistake on his credit report. If you do, call us for a free consultation at Consumer Credit Lawyers at 888-293-2882. The call is free and the advice is priceless. Call us today.